May, you've been asked so many questions during this time. What are you most surprised about that no one has asked you so far? Oh, wow. What they haven't asked me. I think everybody's kind of surprised that I'm here, that's for sure. You know, they're, they're so taken aback by the fact that I'm here, they're forgetting to ask certain questions. It's, it's funny, the ones that have come back, there's a few that have come back after one day yeah. and the next day, and then they finally see the movie. I think that that, you know, most of the people that come in, if they haven't seen the movie, it's, it's really uh, interesting, you know, because they ask the question and go, if you watch the movie, you already know the answers. You won't ask that right, question. Right. Well, in the movie, you didn't talk much about your career. I, I want to know the other adventures you've had. I've done a lot of things since uh, when I got married after years later to, a, to another musician, yeah. record producer, Tony Visconti, and I have two kids. But in between, I started to make jewelry, feng shui jewelry. So that's what that's around my neck here. The record is a symbol of what uh, John gave me. And on here, what I've put is on one side, it has Surprise, Surprise, which is the song he wrote about me. And on the other side is Number Nine Dream, which of course is the yeah. song I whisper and sing behind. And of course, the cross is inspired by the cross that he was wearing around his neck in a lot of these photos. Did you sell a lot of jewelry? No, because stupid me have not put it up as much. In the early days, I sold uh, a number. Actually, uh -huh. uh, I had one of my pieces on. It was uh, Happiness. And I forgot, where was I? I think it was in, I was in uh, Des Moines. We were attached to a casino, and this guy came in. He, was, he had been drunk, I, I, you know, he'd been playing and, and drunk and everything. He goes, I like what you're wearing. And I said, oh, great. And he goes, um, where can I get it? I, I said, well, I, you can write to me. And he goes, no, I want it now. He actually bought the piece I was wearing. Did he really? Yeah, he took oh. it right, off, right off my neck. <laughs> they're beautiful. Thank you. You're so talented. Yeah, this uh, the sterling silver. And so I have a, a few different things, and there's people have been asking, and I guess I better get on the horn and displaying it. So, any other photography that well, you, you know, do still? I do um, right now. I, a lot of people are going back and asking for some of the photos that I've taken way back when, which I never expected to really do anything back then. I was just taking photos. You know, for just the sake of taking photos, yeah. and, and you know, I had a good subject. You did. <laughs> and then there were people that um, that I knew, and I thought, oh, I'll take this picture of John with whoever. Yeah. And there was one of Bobby Keys, my, and no one ever had these photos except me. So I'm lucky. And then now I like to take landscape, and one of my big things that I do like to take is the pictures of the moon. So I used mm. to stand out in the two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. And it was the moon, and I'm freezing, but I was taking pictures of the moon. Well, I wish you would have taken a picture of that UFO that you both saw on the top oh, of I the Oh, I tried. Car. I did try. <laughs> Problem was, the film had been ex overexposed. Oh, no. It was not meant to be. The alien probably close. did that. It was so close. I mean, I was only about two to three stories above my head. That's how close it was. I could see every detail of this this object over my head. And I bet that's burned in your memory too. Oh and the same with, with John so when he drew the picture he didn't want to forget it and you could see the heat wave under underneath the little ship whatever you want to call it and it was uh, amazing because I just remember thinking oh my god I could see it was white light going on and off around the rim and one solid red light and they said what color is it? It's not a color it's like metallic you know it's a metallic gray or whatever mm -hmm. it is and that's what that's what I kept seeing and it was no noise I could hear the street below me with all the cars this thing that was so close to me I couldn't hear a damn thing Wow. well thank you for your time here I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have and I've had such a ball. <laughs> I've had such a great time being in Fort Worth it's been terrific. Thank you, Jennifer, for all your help and, and helping us put one on the show here. Oh, it's my honor and pleasure. Thank you, May. We love you and hope you come back. Oh, love to. <laughs>